when we recognize what's holding us back, the negative belief systems, the bullshit stories, the things we tell ourselves uh, to hold ourselves down, the lies that we unconsciously choose to own because someone told us that we're to be a certain way and all these things, when we actually can let that go or can see it for what it is, we can choose a new way. You are listening to Turn Your Soul On Radio. I am your host and visionary doctor, Dr. Brandy Victory, and my mission is to assist high-achieving women in closing the gap between feeling unfulfilled to living a life on fire. It is time, ladies, to champion our own lives and turn ourselves on. This is Living Victoriously, ladies. This is how you turn your soul on. Hello, beautiful ones. Thank you for being here. I am thrilled to be here. I'm going to just share with you a quick little download that's been coming through my space that hopefully will serve to lift you up and bring more grace into your life so that this transformational time is a little bit more easy and your power can find its freedom. Before we get started, I want to thank you for sharing this with as many women as possible. If you are getting anything out of my shows, I just I just really almost Almost beg you, like seriously, I am begging you right now, <laughs> just to send this to as many women as you can. Because imagine if we could all wake up. May imagine if we could all step into our truth and our power in the most authentic way with a with a living, grace filled lives every day. Our world would be a different place. So I'm, I'm just inviting you to share in the evolution of consciousness on this planet by sharing this with all the women you know. So thank you for that. And I also want to give a shout out to our sponsor, Purium Superfoods. They are the sponsor of the 10-Day Transformation Program that I'm currently doing. Whoop, whoop. Feeling fantastic, women. So exciting. Um, (laughs) It's so good. It's so, so fucking good. Like, I am so happy to be sharing this with you. If you'd like to follow along on my 10-day journey, go to my YouTube channel, Dr. Brandy Victory. Subscribe to my channel. You'll get notification of the different lives that I'm doing and the ones I've already recorded will be there. Uh, And you can see exactly what this 10-day transformation is about. If you're thinking you would like to do a 10-day transformation, then uh, head on over to my website, drbrandyvictory.com forward slash 10-day. That's 10-D-A-Y. 10 day and uh, check out check out the 10 day. I'm, I'm hosting a group in the beginning of June. Um, yeah, so I'm really excited. We've already got like four or five people signed up for that. So <laughs> I'm not sure. Um, I'm not sure how much more space I have. I haven't put a cap on it yet, but um, I'm sure there will be some because I can only manage so much. But anyway, I would be happy to have you join us and uh, yeah, check it out. All right, here we go for the download. Hmm. All right. So I want you to just fill into this for a minute. Fill into the part of you that knows you're a part of something bigger. Feel into that part of yourself that's connected to grace, to source, to creation. Creation is our feminine nature. And when we're not creating, we're disconnected from ourselves in a very deep way. We begin to live shallow lives. And it, it's crazy because we, we lose touch with and often don't see uh, our own shallowness and, and how we're not serving in our utmost grandest way because we're not tuned into and living from our feminine living from our creative nature. Maybe it's because we um, have culturally been taught to be in a man's world, to disregard our feminine nature. And this is where our power lies. This is where our connection to the infinite lies. That's This ever-expanding creative force that is the creator of all things is there, is there inside of us as women. And when we 
step into and honor and flow with and be a part of the feminine divine grace that guides us through our lives and allows us to be the creative force on this planet, then we are aligned to that, to align to the creator of all things, be it God, spirit, universe, supreme being, creator, whatever you want to call it, this is this is how you connect in. And when we peel back the layers of the facade, the layers of the, the shallowness, the bullshit stories, the the con- condemnation of of who we who we are because we have been taught to believe we're someone other than who we are and that have disempowered us in our lives. When we pull back these layers, then the more we come to know ourselves. And I, you know, it still arises for me too that this can be a scary process, right? Like it's how come this is so scary? It's so scary to to like step into our power because if we really come to know our power, who would we become? Who would we be in the world if we actually knew how powerful we were? Like we have this this uh, picture of who we be in the world of, you know, how we show up on Facebook and how we want to present ourselves to, to the world and how we want people to see us and what we've been told we should be. So we try to emulate that. And, and we have this little facade that we put out to the world and we believe it and we believe it very deeply. And so we also know on some level that if we start to peel back those layers, there's no telling what we may find. And when we begin to find that power, the essence of who we really are on those deepest levels, we step into that. And then then that means that things change in the real world. That means that maybe we start a different career path. Maybe we start to parent a little differently. Maybe we change um, how we show up in our relationships with our our significant others or our co-workers or our family or with our mothers. Maybe um, it just means that life changes because when we tap into our truth and we come to know ourselves on a deeper level, that is an inner alignment to ourselves. And when we do that, the physical expression changes. It just does. They're they're so related. You can't go in and change your inner self and not have your outer experience change. And it can be a little scary. So the question arises, how do we bring more grace into our lives so that the transformation we must go through to truly own our power can find its freedom? can be an enlightening experience and something we actually look forward to. This is actually why I do the 10 day transformation program. Like I know that, okay, this is a way to um, set in motion an awakening within myself. Yes, it's a, it's about me eating better. And, and yes, it's about me getting rid of the inflammation in my body. Yes, it's about me um, learning to not be addicted to food, like letting go of food addiction. Yes, it's about all these things that are external. But more than anything, it's it's about the internal transformation that happens within me that I... I I'm I live for. I live for that experience because I know when we recognize what's holding us back, the, the negative belief systems, the bullshit stories, the things we tell ourselves uh, to hold ourselves down, the lies that we unconsciously choose to own because someone told us that we're to be a certain way and all these things, when we actually can let that go or can see it for what it is, we can choose a new way. And when we can choose a new way, we can actually follow our soul's calling and be more on purpose than ever before. So I'm going to just leave you with that and hope that you're feeling a little more on purpose and a little more open to your own personal calling. And may you have compassion, compassion for yourself, compassion for the world, compassion for the other people in your lives, compassion for where you came from and where you are and your own growth, compassion for how you transition through this transformative process called life. And may you have joy being in the flow 
of life itself. Thank you for tuning in to Turn Your Soul on Radio. If you're finding yourself living a more inspired life because of this show, help spread the light. Share this episode with every woman you know looking to live their lives a little more on fire. I'd also be grateful if you headed over to iTunes and left a heartfelt review, which really helps the growth of the show. I'd also like to invite you to deepen your connection with our community by joining our private Facebook group, Turn Your Soul On. And if you have any other questions, feel free to shoot us an email at admin at drbrandyvictory.com. Thanks so much for being here today, and I'll talk to you next time. May your soul be turned on. This podcast is for information purposes only. Dr. Brandy Victory is not a medical doctor, and the views and statements expressed on this podcast are not medical advice. This podcast, including Dr. Brandy Victory and the producers, disclaim responsibility from any possible adverse effects from the use of information contained herein. Opinions of guests are their own, and this podcast does not endorse or accept responsibility for statements made by guests. This podcast does not make any representations or warranties about guest qualifications or credibility. This podcast may contain paid endorsements and advertisements for products or services. Individuals on this podcast may have a direct or indirect financial interest in products or services referred to herein. If you think you have a medical problem, consult a licensed physician.